Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah and welcome to my channel Crafty Chalking Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and today is February 6th and Chalk Couture is having their spring 2024 launch and today's video is going to be with one of their new transfers as part of that launch. This is called Flower Market. It's a size C transfer. It means it's 12 inches by 18 inches and they've got this new surface. It's called Outside the Box. It's pretty awesome. I love it. Um, I've already, I've painted and distressed mine. You know, I sanded it a little bit. You can paint yours if you would like to. If not, you can leave it the natural brown color that it comes in. Okay. Now this insert is removable. All right. It comes with the wood grain. As you can see, one side is brown, the other side is white. So you can get two projects with one and it slides out. Look at that. How awesome is that? They have refills. So if you want to get, uh, you want all the wood grain, you can do that. They have refills for that. And if you love the reusable surfaces, like I do, they have one that fits inside this frame. One side is white, the other side is black. And you do the same thing. You just slide it in. And what I love about this is that you want to go ahead and change out your project. Sorry about that. Um, you want to change out your project, you can, you know, clean it and change it out. I love that. Absolutely love that. But if you wanted to leave it in the natural brown, you could. I decided to paint mine because that's the color that I wanted to do. If you want to paint yours, you can paint it whatever color you would like. Now, any of the products I've got from Chalk Couture that I'm using, um, I will put an edible shopping cart link. So if you'd like to get any of these or something else, you're welcome to do so. So, but before, if you're going to use the wood grain surface that comes with the frame, you do need to wax your surface, okay? They do have some surface wax, so if you already have some, great, you can use that. I've already pre-waxed this to save a little bit of time, but I do have quite a few new viewers. And if you're new to watching, you may be curious as to, uh, you know, how to do this and why I do it. All right, for one thing, um, with the wood grain, it does have some texture, to it obviously and it has all those little cracks in there and while putting the surface wax on there will help minimize some of the bleeding that could possibly happen two it protects your transfer from sticking so well to your surface to where when you go to pull it up and reveal your design that it could stretch and distort and also because this is a wood grain and your paste is a water base it will help minimize the paste from absorbing a lot into the wood and minimize drying out but with the transfer this size we're gonna I'm gonna be doing the peel peel and lift method because I don't want it drying on there too quickly and it also depends on the uh, conditions you know humidity conditions in your your home or your location you're crafting in so I've got some of the surface wax here and I just have an old rag here that I'm gonna use and you just put some in there now you're gonna have to do that a few more times than what I just did. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. But what you want to do is go over into your entire area, go in there two or three times. I think I did mine six or eight times. I have a tendency to apply probably more wax than I should. But that's just me. That's how I like to do things. And you just go ahead and you just wipe it all on. And then you buff. And how you know if you buffed enough is when you put your wax, it's going to feel a little tacky. When you buffed, it feels smooth as butter. It smells, feels really smooth. So that's all you need to do. Just go ahead and buff it. And that's how you apply the surface wax and the reasons on why. All right. Now, I here I've got little bits of wax here. Okay. Now... This is a size C transfer. I also had uh, pre-fuzzed this. Now, if you're new to Chalk Tour, like I said, my channel, why you fuzz is because these are reusable. They're sticky and they are reusable. And what you want to do is you want to use a towel or a fuzzing cloth to uh, minimize some of that fuzziness. Even though you've waxed your surface, it could stick really, really well to uh, your surface. And then all you need to do is just take it off the backer sheet. This is what it comes on. You want to make sure you keep that because you're going to have to, after you clean your transfer with water and one of their uh, board erasers, which I do not have one on hand, or magic eraser. Um, once you clean it with water in that and it dries, 
And how you know it's dry is it will be sticky again. You adhere it to your backer sheet. So that way you can use it for, you know, keep it for storage. All right, I've got stuff sticking here. So all you need to do is pull it off the backer sheet, lay it sticky side up, use a towel or a fuzzing cloth. Because sometimes uh, the larger sizes, they, they can tend to flip on themselves sometimes. And then all you do is you just lay your fuzzing cloth, your towel on top of it, and just do this several times. You just want to minimize some of the stickiness. Now, if you ever decide you want to put this on glass, I do have some videos where I've done them on my glass door, you need to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz to where it's barely tacky because it really sticks to glass. All right, so I've already pre-fuzzed, showed you how to fuzz. Now, this frame does, you know, because it has its slot there, it has, an, you know, a depth to it. And I went ahead and I got a post-it note. Here, I'll just show you really quick what I did. And it's about a quarter of an inch. I just stuck the post-it note up in here to where it was level, and then I just bent it to get some idea of how deep it is. And it's about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So just keep that in mind when you're placing your transfer on your surface. You want to give a little bit more, um, more room for that quarter inch when you place your design down. So all I'm doing is I'm trying to line this up. You can measure if you would like to. I mean, I, I kind of like eyeball things and, and wing it. And you just smooth this over with your hand. And it's trying to minimize any air bubbles. And if you got little things fuzzy that are stuck underneath, like right here, I've got something right here by the S. Now if I leave that, then what's going to happen is when I do my paste, it's not, it could possibly bleed through, you know, get some of that feathering look. That's what I mean by that. To me, that doesn't bother me, but there are some people that, that it does. So I'm just smoothing this over with my hands, and I do have some air bubbles in here. I'm going to be using a small squeegee versus the mini squeegee because this is a larger surface. They do have a handheld one, but I believe it's out of stock. So for those larger projects like size D's, or if you're going to use all one color, boom, boom, it goes by really quick. I believe they're out of stock on these, but when you uh, click on that edible shopping cart link, have a look under tools and accessories and see if they're there. If not, get on the, um, on the notify list when it's back in stock. But this is a small squeegee and I wear I'm a mini squeegees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I had them in my bag. Okay, because I wanted to show you the size difference to it. Oh, there they are. So I'm using the small one because I'll get better coverage. This is the mini one. That way you get an idea of the size. What I'm going to do is just kind of go over this and try to get some of those air bubbles out. I've got quite a few little, little lumps and bumps underneath here. I guess I didn't clean my tabletop off well enough after I sanded my brain. Okay, and I'm just doing this to make sure that I've got good contact with my surface. Um, I'm going to hold it up and just see if it looks kind of even to me. All right, now that you're done with that, all you need to do is grab your paste. Now, I'm doing the bright white. I think the bright white looks really nice against this uh, brown background. You can use whatever colors you would like. I'm just trying to give you an idea, inspiration, and let you know about um, this new launch. This is the bright white. And all you do is you take your squeegee with the bevel edge. Dip it in there. We've got a lot to cover here. You can always scrape off the excess. And like I said, we're going to do the peel and lift method. So if you're not familiar with that, you'll learn that too. And then you just generously apply it to your transfer, covering your design. You can scrape off the excess. Like I said, we're going to do a peel and lift method because even though I wax, I don't want to risk this possibly drying too soon and sticking inside my silk screen. You want to minimize that as much as possible because of that paste dries and that silk screen. Your design may not come through all the way 
and you want to get as many uses as you can out of your transfer. I think this would make a cute garden sign also. It's got something that uh, goes horizontal. All right. Now what I'm going to do, all right, I've got my excess here. I'm going to scrape that back in the jar. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to go over this and scrape off the excess off my transfer. Now, if you're using the paste packets, then just go ahead and just scrape it off on the side of your uh, color tray, color paste tray, if you get any of those, or a plate or whatever it is you're using. Okay. Now, this is the peel and left. You start at the corners. You slowly lift up. And you also want to do this with a larger design because if you missed a spot, you can lay it back down and touch it up. Start at the edges, then you work to the middle, and then you just slowly lift up. Now, you'll see some distressing where the there's some brown there at the letters. That's part of the design. They have a distressed look. So I'm just peeling that up. I'm just going to fan it a little bit. You just want to give it a little skim air dry there, and then you just let it lay back down. And the areas that you pulled up, that you didn't paste yet, you just want to press them back down with your finger. And then you proceed to the next section. And you do the same thing, just generously apply your paste. Make sure you've got good coverage. I do. I hope you uh, get a chance to have a look at their Spring 2024 collection. Look under the What's New tab. I'll have a link posted to that, uh, to that area, that category, I should say, also. Okay. So I'm just generously applying this. Trying to make sure I have everything covered. Scraping off my excess. Yeah, they've got uh, the beautifully bohemian. They got some bohemian transfers. They've got um, spring, Easter ones, farm, farm fresh ones, like the farmhouse style. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this up. lay back down all right none of this came up except for that right there just press that down and I'm going to finish this off I think if you have a basket that's kind of flat um, or something on your door the bike, I think, you know, that it uh, you can put flowers in and hang it on your door. I think that would be really cute with the bike on it. Okay, I am just going to scrape off this excess. Yeah, if at any point you enjoy this project, this video, this transfer, you just like it, I would appreciate it if you give, give it a thumbs up. It helps me with YouTube algorithm. And, you know, if you'd like to see more videos like this, just go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. And be sure to click the notification bell and that you would like to get notified on all videos. Otherwise, you'll just be notified on what your interest is at that moment. So... And I'm just peeling this all up. I've got an excess towel here that I'm just going to lay this down on for right now until I can get to the sink and clean it. And I'm spritzing it with water because I don't want that paste to dry in that silk screen. Now, if you're at home, you take it straight to your sink and, and clean it. All right. I'm going to get my cap back on. Now, you can let this air dry if you want. 
But to speed things along, I'm going to use, because I want to show you what it looks like inside the frame. I'm curious to see how that's going to look with that white frame. You know, I painted it white. It's originally like the shade of brown. Do I like how this looks? I love that. If you wanted to do it on the uh, white wood grain side and gray and black and maybe a little bit of pink and eucalyptus green or something like that for the flowers in the basket, if you wanted to do it all black or gray on the other side, I think that would look really awesome also. Now, if you wanted to seal this, I mean, I don't think it's necessary if you're gonna if you're gonna have this indoor and in, you know inside your home. But um, if you wanted to seal this by chance, you can use a matte sealer spray like a Rust-Oleum or a Krylon, or you can just use the surface wax. I like to seal mine with the surface wax just because I do not always have weather conditions or the ventilation to use that product inside my home. So, um, I mean, I'm in Michigan here, we're, we're cold, I get windy, this and that, you know, and um, I don't have a garage or anything, so I don't have a place I can go with good ventilation, so I seal mine with wax. You know, it's the same process, put the wax on it, and you just buff it. So that's another option for you if you like to, but I don't think it is necessary. Okay. feels good and dry. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Here is my frame. Oops. I need to make some room here. And then all you do is you just take it, you slide it in. Line it up with its track. That. I absolutely love it. Now, if you wanted to add embellishments to your frame, you could do that. Um, with the reusable surfaces and things like that, I try not to like glue things to my frames. That's just my preference. You do whatever you want, however you like it. You want to add a little bow, add a little flowers. I absolutely love this. I do. I hope you enjoy uh, This is um, here. Let me show you what it looked like if you did not paint your frame white and you wanted it um, brown. You wanted it brown. And that's what it would look like with how the, the frame comes in that beautiful brown shade. That side's nice, too. I absolutely love this. I hope you love this project. I'm a, I hope you're able to get, to get this transfer. It's called Flower Market. And uh, this, this awesome, it's called Outside the Box Surface. They have it in several other sizes. Um, They've got like a 5x5, a 5x12, 5x7. I got the 12 by 18 because I, you know, they got some really nice transfers that would fit that size. And I got the 6x18 also. And I also got the refills with the reusable surface because I'll be doing some projects with a reusable surface. All right. I'm going to let you go. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you enjoyed their spring 2024 collection. And you have a wonderful day.